Welcome in to the Recap Rush Hour for Monday, April 10th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by Chevy Drive, Chicago.com, Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Folks, we start with football. Bears are wrapping up two days of meetings with Georgia All-American defensive end and linebacker Nolan Smith. He is considered an excellent pass rusher, also very good against the run. And one of his biggest strengths, he's considered to be a huge character guy and a leader in your locker room. And the Bears have said they need to have some of those cornerstone pieces. But multiple mock drafts now have him gone before pick nine. We'll see what the Bears choose to do. We also know they need help on the offensive line. They're looking for someone that could play right or left tackle. And they could take Braxton Jones and move him to right or keep him at left tackle. Well, I learned they're doing big-time due diligence on fast-rising O-tackle Darnell Wright from Tennessee. He's not fast-rising the NFL teams, but he seems to be fast-rising among the mock draft experts. He's 6'5", 333 pounds, and one guy who I have tremendous respect for is Lewis Riddick of ESPN. Riddick said today, and you can find it at ESPN.com, this guy will be an all-pro within his first three seasons Probably best suited at right tackle, but can play both sides. Draft is April 27th. Bears draft party expected to be sold out at Soldier Field. And you'll get a ton of coverage on ESPN 1000, the home of Chicago Bears football. Multiple teams are trying to trade up to pick number three. It's currently held by the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona likes Will Anderson, the defensive end from the University of Alabama, but there was a report out of Houston today that said, actually, Houston might take him at pick number two if the quarterback that they desire is gone at pick number one. That's believed to be Bryce Young of Alabama. NBA playing field is set. Bulls at Raptors on Wednesday night in Toronto uh, to see if they could stay alive. You lose, you're done. It's over. Also, we heard so much earlier in the year about Zach Levine's knee and load management. Let me just give you some numbers you can use on your friends. Zach Levine played 69 straight games and finished third in the NBA in minutes played. Take that, critics. DeMar DeRozan, eighth in minutes played. Take that, critics. And Nikola Vucevic said, I want to play the last two games so I can play all 82. Take that. Again, Minnesota Timberwolves will be shorthanded for Tuesday's play-in game at the Lakers. They suspended star center Rudy Gobert for throwing a punch at teammate Kyle Anderson in the huddle on Sunday. Power forward Jaden McDaniel, he is done. He is sidelined after he punched a wall in the arena tunnel and broke his hand. Are you that stupid? Holy smokes. Cubs host the Mariners tonight. Smiley against Castillo. And Kyle Hendricks threw a full-speed bullpen today in Arizona. Say Suzuki and reliever Brandon Hughes remain on their rehab assignments with Class AAA Iowa. Javier Assad struggling. Sent to Iowa. Outfielder Nelson Velasquez was recalled. And the White Sox beat the Twins 4-3. Check out the recap up here on our YouTube channel. Appreciate you greatly. Here's your question. What are you doing at pick number nine now? Nolan Smith, an O-lineman, trading it, taking a receiver. What are you doing? Have a great day, a great week. Take that.